Toto and his bone. On one fine day, Toto was looking for his bone. He looked under the pillow. But he couldn't find it. He looked under the bed and dust made him sneeze. Achoo! He looked under the carpet but there was no bone. Toto and Candy went to the garden to play. Toto looked for his bone under the tree. A little bug bit him on the nose. Ouch! Toto still couldn't find his bone. What are you looking for Toto? asked Candy. Toto wagged his tail hard. Come inside, you are so dirty. I need to give you a bath, said Candy. Toto went inside to have bath. Toto had a bath and went to his basket to sleep. And what do you think what he saw in his basket? Yes, it's his bone. He found it. And Toto happily went to sleep with his bone beside him. Hi kids, welcome back to our channel Indivision. Today we are going to learn a story of the thirsty crow. So come on, let's begin with it. It was a hot summer day. A thirsty crow flew into a village in search of water. The crow flew over the houses, fields and trees. But he did not find any water. After a long time, he came across a farm. Under one of the trees on the farm was a pitcher of water. Happy that he found some water finally. He quickly moved towards the pitcher and looked inside. There was a very little water in the pot. The crow put his beak inside the pitcher but could not reach the water. The water level was too low and the narrow opening prevented his neck from going all the way down. He tried to push the vessel down to let the water out but it was too heavy. The crow was disappointed 
He was really thirsty and needed a drink of water badly. He could have given up and flown to another farm looking for water, but he did not. Instead, he looked around and thought, "What else can I do?" He saw that there were a lot of pebbles on the farm, and he had an idea. He collected a pebble and put it into the pitcher. He collected another pebble and another and put them all in the pitcher. As he added more and more stones, the water level came up to the brim. The crow drank the water and flew back home happily. So kids, what we have learned today from the crow and the moral of the story is where there is a will there is a way Hi kids welcome back to our channel in division today we are going to learn a story of the lion and the mouse So come on let's begin with our story A long long time ago there was a lion who was sleeping in the jungle And there was a tiny little mouse who was playing and messing around He decided to have some fun while lion is in deep sleep. He was making a lot of noise and all of a sudden he woke up the lion. the king of the jungle he placed his big paw upon the mouse tiny body so that the poor frightened little mouse could not move wake me up the lion roared i am going to eat you all up please forgive me o king of the animals i did not mean to wake you up i was just playing if you let me go now maybe i can help you one day this made the lion roar with laughter ha 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 you help me you are so small how could you help me with that he changed his mind all right i will let you go because you would be such a tiny morsel anyway go go away A few months later the lion was sprawling around taking care of his majestic duties when he got caught in a trap he struggled to get free but 
the more he gets to free himself, the more he got tangled in the net. Luckily, the same little mouse was passing by. He saw what had happened. The king of the animals was in trouble. Happy to finally be able to help the lion, the mouse rushed to his aid and started gnawing through the ropes. When he was set free by the little mouse, the lion said, I did not believe you would be able to help me, but I was wrong. Thank you, my dear friend. And from that day on, the lion and the mouse became good friends. So, my dear friends, the moral of the story is always help others. So kids, we hope that you have enjoyed our story and yes, please don't forget to subscribe us.